So we're in the control room of uh, Skywalker Sound of the scoring stage, and this is my trusty sidekick, Dan Thompson. And um, we uh, have a beautiful AMS Neve uh, analog console, an 88R, which I love using. We do so many different kinds of acts that uh, we have uh, what you would be used to seeing in a typical recording studio, um, compressors, outboard EQs, uh, we have uh, loads of outboard mic preamps, and um, that allows us to do all kinds of different things, especially because we're a little off the beaten path, so we can't just pick up the phone and call a rental company and have them be here in five minutes. So we like to have as much stuff as we can here to make it easy for people to just uh, make their decisions about what kind of equipment they want, and they can go on with making music. Speaking of making music, I was talking earlier about the M50s that we were using for the orchestra date uh, that we were doing with um, the harpist, who's Anna Maria Mendieta. And uh, this is um, uh, one of the tracks uh, from her record that we did, and it's called uh, Oblivion, and I'll uh, give you a little sample of what the orchestra sounds like. So this is just the sound of the main microphones. And these are just the close mics. My favorite music is people in the room making music at the same time. Um, not that we don't do plenty of dates that have overdubs, but uh, um, I, I, I don't work on the kind of sessions a lot of people work on where tapes, you know, you know, files get sent around all over the country and everybody's putting on their own part at the same time, you know, at different times and all that. That's just not what I uh, necessarily do. Uh, I'm. Uh, more about uh, the orchestration, making sure the composer walks in and hears what he or she expected to hear, that they hear what they heard in their head coming out of the speakers. And it's the same thing with um, uh, singers, you know, does it sound like them? Uh, do they walk in uh, and uh, are they able to hear, hear themselves and, and what they're singing? When I work with singers, I work a lot with uh, storytelling and um, that probably comes mostly from hearing my mother sing every night. Uh, in those days, you sang someone else's songs, and she had to do that every night. You know, she would sing um, the same song uh, every night as if it were new every night because the audience was new, and that takes a lot of talent. Now, when you're a singer-songwriter or you're a contemporary classical singer, uh, singing someone else's compositions, I like to make sure that whatever story the lyricist or the poet wrote it really comes through, that it's not just about the notes on the page, but that you're really getting the story uh, that someone's uh, uh, singing. The nice thing about recording <clears throat> everybody in the room at the same time is that you can get your balances while you're recording. And uh, with a great arranger and a great orchestra, I hate to say it, but I really don't have to do too much except pick great mics 
and uh, set the room up the right way and just let them do their job and we record it. And this is kind of what it sounds like. Mm -hmm.